Hi guys, welcome to another MCQ discussion session at Medico Apps. And in this session, we are going to discuss this question which has appeared both in FMG as well as neat which examination. And the question was, which of the following pathway does not take place in brain? And your options are glycogen synthesis, HMP shunt, fatty acid synthesis, or all of the above, which means none of these pathways take place in brain. Now, before we you know, start discussing this uh, answer or this question, I would want you to hit the subscribe button and make sure that you turn the bell notification on because I'm going to create a lot of this MCQ discussion sessions which will be short and a lot of high yield topic videos which you will be notified if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. So let's look at what is the metabolic effect of glucose or metabolic effect of insulin on brain. In fact, metabolic effect of insulin and glucose on brain, liver, muscle, all the tissues are separate questions. So we know that brain the uptake of glucose happens by blood 3 receptors and once the glucose is taken up it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate there are two more important questions which are frequently asked on this step remember blood 3 receptors out of all the blood receptors blood 3 receptors has highest affinity of glucose and this is very important because even when the blood glucose level will fall still this blood 3 receptors can help the brain to take up glucose even when the blood glucose level is very very low because it has the highest affinity of glucose and remember brain not only has glut 3 receptors but also glut 1 receptors and in fact before the blood brain barrier is developed glut 1 receptors are much more as compared to glut 3 receptors so there were two important mcqs which have been asked on this point now what happens to this glucose 6 phosphate this glucose 6 phosphate will undergo glycolysis okay and remember a very interesting fact is that even though brain is just 2% of the body weight, but it utilizes as much as 20% of the body glucose. So this again is a very important MCQ. So what will happen to this glycolysis? Only oxidative pathway and no anabolic pathway. Remember, this glucose never goes into any anabolic pathway in your brain. It will only go into oxidative pathway. So glycolysis is converted into pyruvate and pyruvate is converted into you know goes into Krebs cycle to produce energy and here is your answer because brain does not have any anabolic pathway so neither glycogen synthesis nor HMP you know shunt or nor fatty acid synthesis none of them will happen in brain so glycolysis to pyruvate and pyruvate enters into Krebs cycle you know via acetyl CoA to produce energy another very very important fact is remember brain primarily depends for glucose for its metabolism but even in starvation okay even in a starvation brain will switch to ketones but only 20 percent of the entire energy requirement of the brain can be taken up by ketones so there was a question which was asked in the examination what is the major source of energy in starvation for brain and the answer again was glucose because even even though the brain start utilizing ketone bodies in a starvation state but it can utilize only up to 20 percent 80 percent of the energy of the brain even in starvation okay will come from you know glucose so this is the metabolic effect of glucose or insulin on brain and this table is very very important now let's look at the question once we have learned it so we know that in brain only oxidative pathway happens which means whatever glucose brain takes it will break down completely to produce energy so none of the anabolic pathway will take place so the correct answer here is d make sure that you are subscribed once again i'm reminding you and you hit the bell notification so that whenever i upload any mcq discussion you are notified another important thing is that we are sending updates via whatsapp very limited student uh, you know it's uh, limited to very few students so if you want to get updates from medical apps from me via whatsapp you can visit this url you will find this url you know in the you know in the description also it is medical apps dot org slash groups we have created certain groups for all of you okay so if you go to this url medicoapps.org slash groups there is a uh, the same link is there in description so if you go there you can join it if you are a first year student you can join a first year group if you are a second year student you can join a second year group and you will get updates according to whatever year you are if you are a post intern or an intern accordingly you will keep getting two through three updates in the group itself so make sure you join that group thank you so much and hope you like this session and keep visiting this mcq sessions because it will help you to learn a lot